Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 4th of July celebration in Loveland, Ohio. Of course, it's a huge turnout this year. Look at the weather, look at the people. So right now we're coming along right here. We have the Grand Marshal coming up. It is George Foster. He is a previous Hall of Fame Cincinnati Reds outfield player. As you can see right here, we're coming up. He's in a 1959 Corvette convertible, which is unbelievable. Now this year we have 825 people in this parade and we have 89 vehicles. That is the largest turnout of all time for this parade. Absolutely unbelievable. People want to know who Loveland is. Here we go. Now the first group coming out is gonna be the Loveland Sims Fire Department Honor Guard. As you can see, they have the Cincinnati Reds gear. I'm loving it. Now, George Foster was an outfielder from 1969 to 1986. He had two World Series and a five-time All-Star and an MVP in 1977. Here we go. Absolutely incredible right here. Look at that convertible, people. Woo! They call him the Red Machine. <laughs> there you go. You got the Grand Marshal George Foster right there. said this is the Independence Day celebration for the city of Loveland. They're putting it on and it is huge this year. We have an incredible turnout. It looks like the first banner up is the Loveland Girl Scouts. They are all decked out in their 4th of July gear. And we have King's Volkswagen coming up right now. Awesome. And we have the Cub Scout Pack 888. Here we go. Let's go. They do so much for the community, and they actually do a lot for the environment as well. And we have the T-Rex inflatables. You can't forget about that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Woo! Oh! oh. <laughs> they have to be hot in those inflatables. I can't even imagine. And we have the 2020 24 Miss Valentine, Miss Dawson. Uh, she won the Hearts of Fire Valentine's Day pageant. She also won the People's Choice Award, which was pretty incredible. I was there catching the whole thing live. We got a future Miss USA person right here. <laughs> She's got the wave too. And we have the Loveland Legacy Foundation coming up right here. One of the most important organizations in the city of Loveland. Oh, we got some princesses too. There we go. I didn't know we were in Disney World, but I love it. Oh man. Okay, my nose turns red. This is an incredible organization. I read all about it. They're one of the only Cincinnati organizations that are promoting youth circus acts, which is incredible. And of course we have the River Rats, bringing the New Orleans Jazz straight to Loveland. And the Loveland Youth Baseball Team, another, another group that does a lot for the community. They do have the Summer Academy coming up here in July. They do 5U through 16U. Oh, here we go, here we go. Candies, candies. 
<laughs> oh, they're ready to pitch me some fastballs right now. Let's go, boys. Future MLBs. Woo! Oh, man. Heard Marine. This is actually a crazy story. So the guy that actually started this, he built motor boats in his backyard to start, which is crazy. Now, it was sold in 2021, but he started building motor boats in his backyard in speed boats. There we go. Oh, we have Becky Gibber in the house. Oh, I love her. So Becky Gibber, she's on the Beautification Committee. She's on the board of the Loveland Legacy Foundation. She's the house manager of the Loveland Stage Company, the board on the Loveland Historical Museum, and the advisor of the Loveland Women's Club. That's why she was selected. And the Loveland Valentine ladies. These are all the ladies that do everything in our community. They do the best. Oh, I missed, I missed. <laughs> Look at all these wonderful ladies. Now the thing about them is they kind of are a piece of the heart of Loveland. As you can see, they visit schools, they go to poetry readings, they do all kinds of things for the community. Hey, there we go. We see some familiar faces here tonight. Awesome, what's that say? Will you be my bus driver? Yes. <laughs> That's incredible. Yes, here we go. It says you'll love driving for Loveland. Call 513-683-3103. If you want to be a bus driver, now's your chance. Oh, we have the Batmobile coming up. This is the coolest vigilante in the multiverse. Here we go. Look at that. Batman. Na, 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 na. And we have Mayor Kathy Bailey coming up. She was first elected to city council in 2015, re-elected in 2019, and re-elected in 2023. There she is. One of the most interesting and amazing things Kathy Bailey has said is she said, Loveland has a bright future and she is grateful to be a part of it. And we have Kit Ping for Loveland City Council in a gorgeous Rubicon Jeep Gladiator with a little baby in the front. <laughs> Candy is everywhere. And then we have Brian Goodyear for the Loveland City Council. He's got his buddy badges on. All day today, people have been buying buddy badges for a dollar, and then you have to go out into the crowd and find the matching number. It's a sense of community here. And one of my favorite organizations, Premier, Tumbling, and Dance. And they're about to put on a number for us. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go. So you think you can dance? She should be on it. Smiley Cyrus playing. What a big crowd for the premier dance and tumbling. Candy is flying everywhere. I'm not sure if this is the 4th of July or Halloween. Either way, I'm excited. Looks as though we have a traffic jam. But it's really just people fist pumping the police officers. All right, we're rocking and rolling again. The crowd is literally going wild right now. All right. 
right, and we have Ooh, Premier Dance and Tumbling, register for their summer camps. Coming up, obviously, this summer. Ooh, and we have a beautiful Jeep coming up. Love the turquoise blue. Remax coming up that is located on lovely Madeira Road. I love their float. The lighting is brilliant. Ooh, and they have a little American flag in their uh, grill. I guess that's what you call it. Call Jason Park at 513-602-0800 if you're looking for a house or condo or apartment. And then we have the USS Cincinnati LCS 20 Foundation. This is pretty cool. It provides support to the ship's crew and families through a scholarship fund to continue their education. What you're seeing right now is a replica of the ship of the USS Cincinnati, a nuclear-powered submarine that was built during the Cold War. The USS Cincinnati will surface at Voice of America Park in Westchester beginning in 2025. <laughs> Gorgeous. That's pretty cool. I love what they're doing for people that are on the ship and on the crew and the families. All right then. Love it. Look at that. Submarine baby. All right. And we have both. Jen, I'm not going to botch this. Your rocks, your rooks for state representative, and then we have Sansa for Congress. Got to get in all our representatives up for vote here soon. Oh, she's spraying. Oh, nice. She's misting people. Thank you. And we have some more Sansa for Congress supporters. Father, veteran, and problem solver. Love it. Love the slogan. And coming up next, we have Gene Schmidt for state representative. Gene Schmidt is a huge, huge, huge supporter of Loveland. We also have Sean Donovan for judge. Seems as though they built some type of wooden structure. Very creative. <laughs> Happy 4th of July. Love the green. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sean Donovan is supporting. And he's here. And we have a little fur baby. Jean Schmidt, here she is. Here we go. Good to see you. Look at little fur baby. Here we go. Here's Gene Schmidt's banner here. All the kids, of course, are giving out candy. Love how the fur babies have been put into this parade. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, I think I see the Loveland Frogman in the distance. Uh-oh. We also have Elect Lips for Judge. Now, the Loveland Frogman, the festival will be March 1st and 2nd this year at the Oasis Conference Center at 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. There has been spottings of this four-foot humanoid frog since 1955. In fact, it was spotted in 2021 in the Little Miami River, according to several sources. Hello, nice to see you. Here he is. Leap into the legend. Now, the Loveland Frog is honestly just as popular as the Mothman over in West Virginia. There he is. He looks a little bit friendlier than I thought, but you know. All right, and we have Karen Brownlee for state representative. She's telling us to join your local Dim Club. And she has a big crowd of supporters here today. In the Carolina blue, love it, love it. Oh, we have an awesome float coming up. A huge inflatable, top hat and all. Oh, here we go. He's simply just saying half of 4th of July to everybody. What a beautiful float. I wonder who put that together. I'm sure it took several hours. Or they bought it, either way. All right, who do we have next? Oh, I love it. Ooh, we have the Railway Barber Shop located right here in downtown Loveland. The cool thing about them is they have a, I don't even know how to say it, a barbercade inside, like an arcade, but it's for people that go and get their hair done. Right now, they're giving cuts right now on their float, which is crazy. <laughs> Very unique. Really funny, actually giving full haircuts as we watch. <laughs> so you can see his skills. Like I said, it's located right here in downtown Loveland. They also have apparel too, by the way. I saw online, they've just released new apparel. Oh, here we go. They're literally giving haircuts right now. And they look good too. Now we have the Day Heights Towing Service. They're ripping that bangles. So Day Heights, pretty interesting story. Started in 1982 by the father Rick. And the son took over the business in 2004. They've been in business 40 years. How crazy is that? The son's name is Jamie Kellerland. And then they purchased the biz in 2020. So amazing. All right, and here comes Branch Hill Baptist Church. This was founded in 1957 with eight original members. The pastor is Joel Greer as of 2007. He began attending the church at age 12. They do have live streams on Facebook and YouTube. Oh wow, look at this float. Unbelievable. Lest we forget the precious price of freedom. One died for your freedom, one died for your soul. That is absolutely incredible. Wow. I'd say best float award right there. Best float award. Are you the judge? Just a comment.
commentator. <laughs> Beautiful float, though. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Monkey Barn Grill, which is crazy. This is a legendary spot in this area. So much history. <laughs> I recommend you go online and read all about the Monkey Bar history. In fact, it was named the 22, I believe, Mile Station back in the day. They used to have a chimp named Sam who was actually caged in at the monkey bar. That's why they call it the monkey bar. Oh, and we have a little Miami River Chamber of Alliance. We have Meredith. She is the VP of the chamber. Here she is. Oh, oh, I missed. And then we have Lacey. She's the new event coordinator. Good to see you guys. Beautiful flow. Apparently, I cannot catch anything with one arm. It's fine. All right, and then we have Time Savers Heating and Cooling. Love their motto. We fix it right the first time, saving you money. They've been in business 32 years. Unbelievable. Good to see you guys. All the kids want candy. There you go. All right. And we have Brittany Frisch coming up. What an incredible story. So Brittany and Drew Frisch opened their spot in downtown Loveland in 2022. Recently, she was recognized as a 2024 real estate all-star, meaning she's among the top 5% in revenue. That is incredible. She was also the business of the year in 2022. She does a lot for the community, has kids in sports, has really built something out of nothing and one of the most inspirational stories for a female-led business that I've heard in a long time. There she is right there, Brittany Frisch. Got a little, little Neil Diamond playing. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. So good, so good. More Brittany Frisch vehicles. I believe that's Drew and that Dodge Ram right there. All right, who do we have coming up next? As you can see, the crowd is going nuts. There's so much candy everywhere. I feel bad for the person that has to clean this up later. All right, and we have more Britney Frisch reps. We have, let's see. Jordan Dwyer. Call 513-515-4861. Now we're throwing party bees. It's about to get wild. Dang. Brittany Frisch has come to take over the parade. We have another Brittany Frisch rep. Her name is Candy. I am not even gonna try to say her last name. Next up we have Christina Wesley from Brittany Frisch Realty. Frisch taking over the parade, y'all. You can see it. He's got about 10 vehicles in here. Oh, you're good. Ooh, okay, Polaris. Oh, we have bouncy balls. Oh, man. Oh, it's about to get wild now. 
Kids are going nuts. Oh, next we have Sarah Robin with Brittany Freesh Realty. Of course, if you're looking for a home in Loveland or the Sims Township area, I believe they do Northern Kentucky as well. Please check out Brittany Freesh Realty. I hope I don't get poked out in my eye with the Smarties. I'm worried. All right. We got another Rubicon coming up. All right. I think that's the end here for Brittany Frisch. And we have Heather as well, part of the Brittany Frisch team. And we have more Day Heights towing service vehicles, which I mentioned earlier has an incredible story. Most of these, oh, there's Heather right there. Just giving out candy, throwing candy. Oh, there she goes. She's getting wild. Oh. So we have Day Heights Towing Service once again, and they're telling us that we are in the Wild West right now. Oh, we have a singer too? Yes. Love it. Oh, they're giving out water. They do bottled water, softening, filtration, whole home, and commercial. Oh, they're giving out cases of water. Do we really give out water on the 4th of July? I guess so. And now we have Nest. This was founded in 2016. NEST stands for Nutrition, Education, Safety, and Transformation. It is a nonprofit with the mission of breaking the generational cycle of poverty and addressing academic and non-academic barriers for at-risk school-aged children. It offers lunches, tutoring, homework, help, and sports activities. Doing so much for the community. You can contact them and they will literally park in your backyard to help the children. Ooh, start the party. Loveland Christian Church, let's go. They're having an event July 7th through the 11th from 6 to 8. It's a free kids camp. Who do we have here? Ooh, we have the UPS store located very, very close to here. On Loveland Madeira Road. Oh, little bullhorn action going on and bubble machines. All right, the next one is super, super important to me and close to my heart. It's the Do It For Jack Foundation. It's a local nonprofit raising awareness about fentanyl poisoning, Jack Quill Foundation. Now Jack Quill lost his life to fentanyl poisoning on September 20th, 2021. He was a Moeller grad and a USC grad. His mother and father, Stephanie and Tom, established this foundation in 2022. In fact, I believe last week or the week previous, the whole city of Loveland celebrated Do It For Jack, which is unbelievable. Fentanyl poisoning is such an important topic that we need to be talking about. And I commend his parents for doing that. Hashtag Do It For Jack. Hashtag Have The Conversation. If you have not read Jack's story, please go to their website and read it. It's incredible. All right. Ooh, they're giving out popsicles. The kids are definitely going to go wild. Hopefully they're not frozen yet because that's really going to knock somebody out. And this is from the 
St. Columbian Council, the Knights of Columbus. Oh, and we have the little Miss Valentine, 2024. Her name is Rory. She won the 2024 Hearts of Fire Valentine's Day pageant just this year. She was into, uh, I believe, the one to two year old category. There she is right there. There's Rory. There she is. Looking beautiful as ever. Like I said, she was the winner of the Loveland Hearts of Fire pageant this year in the one to two year old category. Looks like she wants to get out of the car. <laughs> All right, what do we have next? Like I said, we do have 89 vehicles as far as I know in this parade. So bear with me, people. And hopefully I'm giving you a front seat to the patriotic action down here in Loveland, Ohio. Oh. <laughs> More candy being given out. That's what the Loveland Parade is known for. All right, and we have some more patriotic people coming through in their Jeeps. Giving out more candy. Oh, nice wig. Not sure what that represents. Maybe George Washington. wife actually owns the 1859 right in downtown Loveland, a beautiful event center and a very historical church. All right, here we go, rock and roll. We have the Chris Shaw Man Realtor.com, Plumtree Real Estate Marketing. Love that name. Love the graphics. a little bit more about Shane Harden. He is actually the lead pastor of Branches Church. He was the founding lead pastor since 2012. And like I said, his wife Kate opened the 1859 and has been doing big things. All right. Looks like we have the premier handyman coming up. His name is Brian. He's been a professional craftsman for over 20 years. Look at that float. I am impressed. I am impressed. There he is. We love a handyman. Next up, we have the Hearts of Fire Elvis Contest winner. His name is Jason Johnson. And I believe he is here with his wife and kids. There we go. Thank you very much. Excellent. Oh, we have some rollerblade action here. Oh, and then we have Premier Martial Arts. What a cool concept, Premier Martial Arts. Gives kids and adults the opportunity to do karate, martial arts, all kinds of different things. Such a great activity to get the kids involved. Working out. And 
we have the Loveland Museum Center. Legendary, of course. Located on 201 Riverside Drive. They have all the Loveland history. Go on their website to see their hours. It is actually a really cool place. I've been there several times. Ooh. And they got a nice car, too. Oh, oh, traffic jam. There we go. Oh, we got a party foul. We got a party foul. <laughs> A for effort. All right, Loveland Museum Center. All right, it's getting toasty out here, but people are still here for the parade. Like I said, I knew it was going to last more than an hour. We got Tufts Schildemeyer, one of the premier funeral home services here in downtown Loveland. Also a very interesting background in history. Very supportive of the community as well. They sponsor a lot of events. We have the Queen City Storm, opened in 1975 by Jeff Metzger, first gymnastics school in Cincinnati. They opened the Kids First Sports Center in 1998, also home of the Ronnie Gratison sports program, basketball program, I guess you could say. <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, next we have the Loveland Stage Company. Loveland Stage Company is going to be putting on James and the Giant Peach from July 11th through the 13th at 7 p.m. and July 13th through the 14th at 4 p.m. Now we do have to pay homage to Pat Future. She was with the Loveland Stage Company for 45 years and started it on the back deck of her home. Rest in peace, you were such a big part of the Loveland community and we appreciate you. Be sure to check out James and the Giant Peach, guys. You can go to the website to get tickets. I think I see a familiar face. This is little Mr. Cupid. His name's Bo. He won the three to four year old category at the Loveland Hearts of Fire pageant this year. Oh my God, he's gorgeous. So cute. And next up we have the Dakota Service. Ooh, okay, keyboards. Yes. So much talent in Loveland, Ohio. Oh, who do we have up next? Oh, there we go. Right, next up, we have the Freedom Home Care for Veterans. No cost care for senior veterans. 513-461-2. Next up, we have five EVA batteries. Custom lithium batteries, golf cart, and energy storage. Love the green golf cart. All right, now, yes. let's go. Oh, this is excellent. Well, this 
which is awesome. So, moisture and oil, it provides steady supply of nutrients to plants as needle decompose. Tribe Pine Straw. Who let the dogs out? Desert Roadsters. Here we go. I love their little hats. I definitely want to drive one of these. Oh, here we go. Might want to watch out or I'll get ran over. Sorry if it's wrong. I need one of those to drive around Loveland. Oh, here we go. Woo. Like I said, they are the Syrian Shriners. All right, who do we have coming up next? I'm not mistaken, it's probably a Loveland Canoe and Kayak. I could be wrong. Just it's a bad day to be a brat. <laughs> oh, Loveland Paddle Sports. But also as an entity of, oh, there we go. That's my girl. There she is. There's Elena. She is the daughter of Mark Bersani, who is the owner. There he is. There's, there he is. Love the Bersanis. Loveland Paddle Sports. Love that family. They do so much. There we go. And there is Adam. He is a Loveland resident driving his 1969 riding mower. He's actually a firefighter and an EMT at the Cincy Fire Department and a formal corporal at USR, repping the community. Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of move to loveland.com.